morning facebookers lookers and lurkers it's your girl jen on this monday morning here in las vegas it's june 19th and i want to talk to you guys about it's time to get in the game you know we all know that the warriors um won the nba finals last week or week before and uh, my question to you is what would have happened if steph curry or Clay, or KD, or Iguodala, or Zaza Petulia, or Draymond Green tried to take on the Cavaliers solo. What if they were just playing alone, you know, and not realizing they're part of a team and it's a team effort? I don't think that that would have ended up being the case this morning. It will, at final result for the finals, right? There's no way KD could have defeated the Cavaliers all by himself. There's no way Steph Curry would have been able to defeat the Cavaliers all by himself. Why? Because this is a team, and it's a team effort. Well, what does that have to do with the Bible and the body of Christ? Well, let's look at it. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and we're going to skim through the entire chapter. It's 31 verses, and if you have time to read 31 text messages today, you have time to read 31 verses, but that's on you. So take the time to read it, but it says... In verse 4, it says, God's various gifts are handed out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various ministries are carried out everywhere, but they all originate in God's Spirit. God's various expressions of power are in action everywhere, but God himself is behind it all. Each person is given something to do that shows who God is. Everyone gets in on it and everyone to benefit. All kinds of things are handed out by the Spirit and to all kinds of people. The variety is wonderful. Kind of sounds like a coaching staff and a general manager team that's what it sounds like to me is that okay well they're building a team right that's what that's what it says all of these gifts have a common origin but they are handed out one by one by the spirit of god he decides who gets what and when mm, that's what it looks like you can easily see how this kind of thing works by looking no further than your own body your body has many parts limbs organs cells but no matter how many parts you can name there's still one body and it's still the same with Christ so it doesn't matter if we have a point guard and a shooting guard and small forwards and centers it doesn't matter it's still part of one team and this is what I want to tell you we are all part of one team and if you scroll down to verse 14 it says I want you to think about how this makes you more significant not less a body isn't just a single part blown up into something huge. It's something different but similar. Parts arranged and functioning together. If the foot said, but I'm not elegant like the hand embellished with rings, I guess I don't belong to the body. Would that make it so? If the ear said, I'm not beautiful like the eye, limpid and expressive, I don't deserve a place on the head. Would you want to remove it from your body? If the body was all eye, how could it hear? And if it was all ear, how could it smell? And as it is, we see that God has carefully placed each part of the body right where he wanted it. You know what that means? That means wherever you are is ex exactly what the kingdom needs. Your gifts are not for you. They are to benefit the kingdom of God and to elevate the kingdom of God that much more. Well, what does that have to do? Well, you know, I, I, I Jennifer, I'm not a speaker. Jennifer, I'm not a teacher. Jennifer, I'm not a... Uh, a pastor Jennifer I, I don't like to be in front of people well guess what it's not about that whatever your gift is if you have a gift with children and sports coach a little league team coach a little league basketball team if you are a teacher teach if you have a gift of loving on people guess what volunteer if you have a gift of finances give whatever it is you can do something because whatever whoever god has created you to be is exactly what the kingdom needs right now every part is dependent on the other part the parts we mention and the parts we don't the parts we see and the parts we don't you are christ's body that's who you are you must never forget this only accept your part of the body only as you accept your part of the body does your part mean anything if you're familiar with some parts of God that has formed in the church with his body, apostles, prophets, teachers, miracle workers, healers, helpers, organizers, and those who pray in tongues. But it's obvious now, isn't it, that Christ's church is complete. The body is not a gigantic, unidimensional part. It's not all apostle, not all prophet, not all miracle worker, not all healer, not all praying in tongues, and not all interpreter of tongues. But yet, some of us are still competing for so-called important parts. Now, here's the thing. 
Am I less important because I'm not the pastor? Am I less important because I'm not the soloist in the choir? Am I less important because, you know, I'm not the president of the Usher board? No, I'm not. Everybody has a part to play. And whether you go to church or you don't, whether you know how to love on people or you don't, there's something you can do to show the love of Christ in your day-to-day -day life that can show the love of Christ in the people you deal with. My baby is sick right now, um, Janice. A lot of you know she battles lupus. And the love that was shown to me on Friday by some people who we don't worship together. We don't do a lot of things together. But guess what? I was able to see the love of God when they stepped in and said, Hey, what do you need? Do you need to go check on your baby in California while I'm here in Las Vegas? And yes, she's my baby. She's 21, but she's my baby. So understand this whatever your position is it's time to play it stop riding the pine get in the game and do your part because we all have a part to play okay anyway i gotta get to work um what else was i going to tell you oh saturday was phenomenal fed a hundred people the plates are posted on my page and again whatever you can do i'll be coming to california wednesday we have so many needs for our bags I have so many needs for donations because right now I'm funding it myself you can donate through PayPal at paypal.me backslash Jennifer Michelle 1029 you can donate clothes you can donate socks you can donate uh, toiletries whatever it is whatever it is you have if you're getting ready to throw out your clothes guess what I could use those because there's people on the street who don't have that so whatever it is you have to give or if all you have to give is a prayer I'll take those two okay you guys have an amazing day and I will chit chat with you on tomorrow bye